Beautiful. Um, uh, I would like to ask you also, Mark, about abstinence. Uh, clients often ask about it and have a lot of doubts. Uh, how do you say, uh, what is abstinence in the recover sex addiction recovery? Is it necessary and um, to what extent? Certainly. Again, beautiful question. Abstinence is a funny thing with sex addiction. Here's, here's, a, here's one really big difference between the behavioral addictions and chemical addictions. So there are, there are two chemical addictions, drugs and alcohol, in all their different varieties. They're known as the chemical addictions because you're putting a chemical inside your body. Every other addiction, by default, is behavioral. So sex addiction is behavior. Um, eating and, and anorexia and bulimia, that's a, that's a behavior. That's an, also an addiction. Exercise is a behavior, but it can also be an addiction. addiction. Mm -hmm. Work is a behavior, but it can also be an addiction, and so on and so on. Problem with the behavioral addictions is that most, most you need to do to have a healthy life. There's one notable exception. Gambling is, is a recognized addiction, and it's a behavior. You do not need to gamble. No one needs to gamble. So that's, that's one exception. But every other behavioral addiction I can think of, work, exercise, sex, eating, whatever it is, you, you have to do it. You have to eat to have a healthy life. You have to exercise. You have to go to work. And you have to have sex. So abstinence with sex addiction is difficult. It's difficult to, to define. If When you first, let, let's say a man has been living in, in a marriage for 20 years, and suddenly he is discovered. He's discovered um, using pornography or he's discovered seeing prostitutes or you know, there's a big explosion. And finally, all his secrets are discovered, let's say, for example. Mm -hmm. At that point, at the initial time of discovery, certainly the, the damaging behaviors need to stop. So it's easy, taking, some, taking prostitution, for example, if a man is seeing a prostitute, for example, behind without his wife's knowledge, clearly that needs to stop because that's only going to cause more damage to him, to the prostitute and to his wife. So that kind of behavior has to stop. But you can't long term not have sex with your wife if you want to have a healthy relationship. A period of abstinence, and a, for example, maybe three months, I think, is a good, I think can be a very useful thing. Because if you have a period of, of, of no sex at all, including masturbation, nothing, then in that period of time, as I said a little earlier in this interview, all the feelings that you have been controlling with your addiction are going to come to the surface. And it's going to be a very, very difficult time. And that's a time when you need a therapist, when you need a coach, when you may need to be in treatment to help you through that very difficult, tough initial time when you stop doing your addiction. During that time, that's when you will explore why you're doing it. There's so much emphasis over the year, over many decades, has been put into just stopping it. Mm -hmm. Nancy Reagan's famous slogan decades ago was just say no to drugs. Just say no. That easy, right? Mm. Well, no, it's not that easy. That's the problem. You can't just say no. You can't just stop it overnight. It doesn't work. You have to understand why you're doing something if you're going to if you're going to then choose to stop doing it but you're not going to stop it if it's actually been helping you through life for the last 10 20 30 years unless you understand the why desmond tutu that beautiful man that amazing man he has a very famous quote which i love to use he says we have to just stop pulling people out of the river we have to go upstream and figure out why people are falling in in the first place Addiction, addiction itself is seen by everybody as a huge problem. But what people have to realize is that addiction is actually a symptom of a problem. Addiction is not the key problem. The problem is in here. The problem is in your heart. The problem is in your head. The problem is why are you doing it? That's what you have to understand. So abstinence helps bring all that difficulty out to the surface, but you've got to do it with help. If someone has been looking at pornography for 10 years or seeing prostitutes for 15 years, if they suddenly stop and then try and make it through life, I almost I predict they're going to get very angry. 
or very depressed. And without professional help, it is a very, very dangerous time. Stopping any addiction for however long, for any period of time, is dangerous to do it without help. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, totally. Mm. Uh, can have can sex addict have a healthy sex 